peaches and curls we are back with another video yes and we are talking about products that my hair messy pelo said no para me no no my hair has an alter ego missy pelo is my alter ego my hair and she tells me what she likes and what she doesn't like so it's not my fault if i don't like it okay blame it on missy pelo but i'm gonna share with you guys some of the products that did not work for me and it might work for you it might be a staple in your product but let me just say this i know that silicones and glycerin are like things that my hair really doesn't like in its curly state now the methicone or cones my hair loves when it's straight because it gives it coats it it gives it that shine it protects it from the heat but unfortunately when my hair is curly i have learned that I have to make sure it's a water soluble dimethicone and it does not coat my hair because it can weigh it down and glycerin is just the devil okay I have talked about that before Gly glycerin is the devil these are hair products that I regret buying some of these most of these are for my curly hair so I'm gonna say natural hair because I, my hair is not chemically processed okay and that's just just what it is I don't know if your hair talks to you but in the curly world our hair talks to us okay so in this video I'm gonna let you know what worked for my high porosity fine thin coarse hair that's 3C 4A and 4B so let's get into this video first thing um, she did not work for me okay uh, I will say he it's a heat because we broke up. I like your brother better. The Garnier Hope Blend Smoothing Leave-In Conditioner, the coconut oil and cocoa butter. I know a lot of y'all love this. Yes, but I like his brother better. Legendary Olive Oil, that's the one that I love. No bueno, okay? This one left my hair with a film, kind of like with that cast. You know how dry sheets out of the dryer feel? This is what this, that made my hair feel like this. So no bueno no i did not like this and it also i think it's the silicone in it it felt like a very a cast and it was very heavy so i did not like the way that that felt at all so i'm gonna pass this on and i could tell i tried this like twice and then it was like girlfriend no and it, i could you could tell it totally tell the difference from the whole blends the legendary olive oil that's silicone free from the drugstore i do have a review on that i'll link it over here so y'all can check it out that's the bomb and y'all can tell my hair in that but this was like no bueno somebody asked me about these so i'm gonna talk about them the pacifica brand i don't know if i'm gonna dip back in this because these are the coconut power uh deep conditioning control damage control mask and the coconut power strong healing conditioner and i have the shampoo no boo no no this is not for my type of hair this is no Th my, my hair laughed at this Okay, my hair was like, uh -huh. that's all you got, girl. You better come, you better come correct. That's my hair was like, no, can't have it. So I no, my hair didn't like this. Um, I would think that someone with wavier hair would like this. Okay, if you have wavier hair, I don't think that this was designed really for coarse hair. I'm just gonna be real. I don't think that this is for uh, coarse hair. For my straight hair, I still wouldn't wear it because I feel like I need some more moisture and that did not give me enough moisture, especially for the, the coconut water and all that stuff in it. It did not work, no. This is something that used to work for my hair but doesn't anymore and I think it's because my hair prefers like silicone free products when it's curly. Now when it is, now it really depends. It depends on how light it is and everything, but this is a quash defining gel. I tried this again. I think my hair liked it better when I was transitioning. So I will say this, if you have larger curls, if you have uh, wavier, wavier curls, like not as tightly coiled as my hair, then you're gonna like a product like this. But the Aquash Defining Hair Gel, it just, it broke my heart that I couldn't use the rest of this. And it's a bit, it's like uh, maybe about a fourth left in here. Um, Let's see, I will probably give this to one of my coworkers that has wavier hair, but um, this did not work for my hair anymore. It worked better if, when I was transitioning and my hair was wavier because it had a lot of heat damage. So if you have wavier hair or you have like big bouncy curls, you know, Shirley Temple curls, that probably would work for you, but no, no way, no bad of me. I have one more. This is the Carol's Daughter 
hair milk refresher spray I thought my hair liked this y'all but it don't it does not like this it likes this if it were a leave-in conditioner now a refresher spray like this someone like I said with not quite tightly coiled hair or it likes glycerin I think glycerin is the devil in this one and it is glycerin is in here so my hair definitely could tell my hair is kind of finicky when it comes to certain Carol's Daughter products. So, I don't know. I feel like that this would be great. This would be better for someone with not as tightly coiled hair again uh, like me. I just I just feel like these did not work for that reason. And no bueno para me. Another one that did not work, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to try this again from Sally's. But this is the generic, this is the generic con conditioner. This is the Paul Mitchell one. The leave-in conditioner. Y'all, no, this does, this didn't work for me. I This stayed around forever and ever. This leave-in conditioner, no. I didn't even want to use this as a conditioner rinse out my hair. It does contain glycerin and it has dimethicone. I think my hair, I, I went, I was silicone free for a while. My hair does not like this, no. So yeah, so these are products that my hair no bueno okay unfortunately my hair did not like this not to say that they won't that your hair doesn't like this but I know that silicones in my curly hair and uh, I don't mind silicones but I'm just learning that I get optimal hair when my products are silicone free and when they're glycerin free I've just learned that let me know if you want a video on how I figured that out yes thanks so much for watching please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video